Hi guys, welcome to my latest video. This is how I manage my Avery because I've got a mixed Avery and I've got budges, I've got Rosa Borks, I've got Lovebirds in here as well as a Kakariki and a Rosella. Now this is a mixed Avery which uh, some birds to get on with each other, some don't. Should any of these birds not get on with their Avery mates, then I move them into another Avery and move them out of the way. But some of these birds are trained and some of them are actually kept in here as birds which are breeding pairs. But I don't actually let breed whilst they're in this aviary. So there's no nest boxes in here at all. Now what I'm going to do is talk you through how I manage this aviary. Is some of the birds are trained, some of the birds are breeding birds. And how these guys all get on with each other. What we do with this aviary is we try and reduce conflict by feeding these guys at set times a day. They get two seed feeds a day and then they get fruit which is left in here throughout the day and that's enough fruit for these guys to finish. So I'll just show you the fruit and show you how much I feed this whole lot. So here we've got a mix of fruit which I'm feeding these guys today. I do feed them other things as well. I like to give them a nice varied fruit mix. Uh, so we've got apple, pear, carrot, blueberry, pomegranate seeds, sweet corn, peas, grape, red pepper and cucumber in there today. So of the fruit mix which I make up for these birds, the fruit and veg comes to around about 50 grams. This goes in straight after the first seed feed. The birds have it with them for around about, uh, have it with them for around about sort of five or six hours before they finish the whole lot. And then the second seed feed happens later on, around about an hour to hour and a half after all the fruit's been, been finished. Here we've got all kinds of different relationships and the weirdest one of the lot are these two. We've got a male budgie and a female rosella which seem to love each other and always hang around with each other. Another pair this is a Tino Peach Face pair. These guys do breed but for now they're on a break from that. So some of these birds are for training, some of them I'm going to breed from and some I haven't got around to training just yet. So the ones that are in training I just separate by taking them out one at a time and placing them off into their feeding cage. And the rest of the birds in here, they just get fed. And here are my separation cages with all their birds which are in training getting their feeds whilst the other birds feed in the aviary. Here's the seed cups again, an hour after they got put in. Now what I'm always looking for when it comes to feeding these guys is the fact that there's still seed left in these. Now I'm feeding the group of birds which are non to training. These guys are getting 45 grams of seed twice a day, having an hour's access to it. And as you can see in here, there's still lots of seeds which haven't been eaten, which means I know the birds are getting enough food for what they need. With all of the birds in my aviaries, I measure their weight and also their body score. The body score being the amount of muscle which they have around the tops of their legs and also around their keel bone as well. Now if you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I hope to see your comments soon.